Hi and welcome to HSMA E-Day Berlin 2020. I'm standing here with Ms. Carolyn Brower, who is the CEO and founder of Quality Reservations. Carolyn, Correct. lovely to meet you, lovely to have you here. How are you? Very well, thank you. Lovely That's for having me. Great, thank you. Carolyn, let's start by perhaps giving uh, the audience a little bit of a background on yourself. Um, I love hosp hospitality and hotel industry. I founded Quality Reservation in 1996, so quite a while ago, doing distrib distribution for the hotel industry because hotel industry was, you know, a hotel and work within the hotel and distribution started to be important. Mm -hmm. So that's what uh, we do and what how we started with Quality Reservations. Well, obviously with 2020 we've had a, a fairly eventful year so far. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably fair to say that in March a lot of distribution strategies for the year would have been torn up and thrown away. Uh, what's your instinct in terms of future consumer demand? Hmm. Difficult. Um, it's a year of insecurity, as you said, uh, I have never happened to me before, and I think we went through crisis before, but nothing which was worldwide and which impacted us in the hotel and travel industry as much as it did today. So um, with quality reservation, we live off leisure travel right now because business travel is down to 5%, and we hope um, that, that something will happen that people um, are engaged in travel again and I think we, if we talk to companies in business travel um, lots of people would like to travel and would like to carry on doing business again but big companies are banding travel right now mm. so people are at home and mm. hotels mm. are suffering as airlines and everybody else. Mm. So because of that what does the future hotel look like? So for example hotels in 2021 what does that look like? Um, there are going to be less hotels to start off with because I think everything which is not producing or in a destination which is probably not worthwhile or not very profitable, those hotels will disappear. The hotels which have um, digitalization, which do, you know, which do check in, check out without contact, which still have emotions, will attract people if business starts again. Mm -hmm. But they are going to be less hotels and the ones who are going to survive will be the truly digital hotels mm. and this half semi-digital will not be the future, I, okay. I'm afraid. Great. So in your opinion, how do you see the likely stages of a rebound when we get there? Hmm. <laughs> uh, difficult. It's, it's like crystal ball question. Um, difficult. I hope, and I'm optimistic, I hope that as soon as we have a vaccine, a medicine, kind of, the trouble will start again. But uh, different because companies obviously realize how much money they, they save. Uh, for people being at home, less traveling, so you you actually look at your business and you probably do the things which are really necessary. Um, big problems with bigger events, mice business, this is even going to um, take longer than the the overnight business, if you want to. Yeah, yeah. And finally, how do you think hotels can recognize the different stages of a rebound so that they can adjust accordingly? Well, I think it starts now with domestic travel. Right now we have domestic travel, um, business very little, leisure a lot because everybody stays within their own country. Next steps will be European travel, my point of view, and international travel, end of 2021. Yeah. yeah. Something like that, I'm afraid. Yeah, excellent. Mm. Carolyn, lovely to meet you. Thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.